Hey guys, Joe Small Home Office Prepping. Welcome to our channel. So uh, I've been planning on doing a video. I put the solar in probably a little more 14 months ago. And I've been planning on doing a video on the updates of it, how it's been working and everything like that. And then Hurricane Helene hit us. And um, it's, it's been quite a mess. But my solar got put to the test. I'll get into all that in a second. But we out here, we probably got anywhere from, I would say, about 70 mile an hour sustained. Um, gust upwards about a hundred and you know I came out and all these pine trees you see over here um, these huge huge pine trees we have all around our property here um, these things were just all bowed over they were just um, the wind was screaming the wind noise our power did go out uh, through all this and I mean you just see all these trees around our property here the sun might block us out over here as we come around but um, you see we just have huge huge pine trees all around the whole property here and all of these trees were just all bowed over um, we did have a lot of uh, dead trees that came down. We had uh, live branches come down, uh, but no real big, big trees actually came down. We got lucky with that. Um, but like they said, the solar got put to the test here. And um, well, I'm going to get into that in a second. Let you guys know how it all did. All right. So if you watched this channel before, um, you've seen this. This is our solar setup over here. Um, where basically you saw the four panels or the eight panels, excuse me, that are up on the roof, and those come down into two circuits over here, and they're two 40 amp circuits. One comes into this charge controller, and I'm not going to start turning things on there. I have a lot of videos in the past when I put this in where I did uh, put amp probes on and did you know check voltages and check all that and turn things on, turn the AC on. So you guys can go back and see that. I'm not going to do all that again. Um, so, but basically, this is the setup over here. Um, like I said, it comes down into two charge controllers. You have the two breakers over here, which the solar panels are coming into that and then comes out of that and one goes into this charge controller one goes into that and then these come out and they go into two more breakers down here um, which then those go to the battery bank to charge the batteries down over there we do have a 6,000 watt split phase inverter so this is 240 um, the battery charger over here doesn't have anything to do with the solar I use these batteries for um, different things over here I just keep it fully charged all the time um, I did sometimes I will if this is on at night you see this is on um, if you look at the front of the inverter okay it has power saver off that's where I have to keep it because power saver on what it does is it keeps the inverter off and I think it's like every 20 seconds it'll send a small electronic signal um, out there just to you know see if there's anything trying to pull a load um, the problem is when the transfer switch snaps over and it does that it's not an instantaneous and then when that power comes on it'll trip uh, not all of them but some of the arc faults will trip so um, I keep this over to power saver off so it's constant power um, and sometimes when I do that I, at night I will put the battery charger on because this will take about um, you know when this sits all night just to be on standby it will take about probably five to six percent it's not really a big deal but where it's a hundred percent charge it will drop in the morning to about 95 but like a half hour later it's back up to 100 percent even when it's early and the sun hasn't even really come out yet once the light starts hitting it it charges so but that's what we have this is connected to an automatic transfer switch over there um, and again, this little charge controller, the blue one there, again, has nothing to do with all of this here. Um, this is the solar setup over here, and down here is the battery bank um, over here that we have. They're all, you know, wired together. There's five of them over there. So um, this setup, the other night when the power went out, what basically happened um, was the solar transfer switch snapped over instantaneous okay so it's uninterruptible um, the only thing that's not on the transfer switch because we're set up several different ways and I'll kind of go through that quick with the solar um, the solar is set up to power everything on the house everything on the property we have about 28 lights um, you know up lights that shine up into the tree spotlights post lights just all over the property and the solar is set up to run everything on the property from the house to the AC and all that but it comes in three different ways okay and the first way is the emergency transfer switch which everything on the house is in that um, the refrigerator the lights um, you know you name it everything except the microwave and the stove it's the two things I didn't put out on there um, and the AC okay the AC is on the solar but it's a different way so if the power goes out um, everything the lights the TV the internet um, the security system the security cameras the refrigerator everything 100% in the house stays on okay so that is the first one right there um, so just like the other night that's why I have that set up it's storming outside I can't get outside to do anything so automatically it came on and you know it, it was great because even the house it was 72 degrees when that happened um, my house has the foam insulation in it so it's both pretty much soundproof we didn't even hear a lot of the storm going on but it also holds the cool for literally hours and hours and hours so I don't even really have to worry a lot about that um, but there's another way and I'll get to the outside I'll explain all this to you um, that the solar does actually connect to the panel to power up the AC unit and you guys seen the previous videos if you haven't take a look and you guys will see how that works um, so but anyways this is the solar system inside of here okay so um, this basically here 
is connected a couple different ways. All right? This first goes into the transfer switch, so it transfers automatically. So the way a transfer switch works is it has power coming from your main utility panel during normal, you know, power's on and all that. And the transfer switch magnetically will stay in that position when the power from the power company is on. And it goes to a transfer panel, which I'll show you in a second, and it powers everything up in the transfer panel. Um, next, what happens if the power goes off, the transfer switch will automatically swap over to the solar, which comes in on another way. Uh, the other side of the transfer switch and now the transfer switch will relay power from the solar inverter over to the transfer panel um, that transfer panel is 120 I do plan on putting in a second hole setup just like this here and I'm going to isolate this to where this one will run everything in the house that I just talked about and the next setup will basically run just the air conditioner itself and it'll be about the same size um, because this here without the air conditioner um, whether it's cloudy outside or it's not outside, I can run everything I just talked about, refrigerator and all that, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, um, as long as I want. So, you know, like a lot of these poor people in Carolina are going to go who knows how long without power. Um, but they still have houses that didn't, you know, the power's down, but their houses didn't take any damage. And the setup would, you know, work perfect for them because they would have lights, TV, refrigerator, everything they want while the power is being restored. So that is my first setup. Um, so I'm going to isolate the AC, and the AC unit takes about the same power as the whole entire house. So I'm breaking this down to half and half. So that's why I said I'm going to put in the same size, uh, same size system, because when I do that for the AC unit, now what's going to happen is I have the same thing. I can run the AC 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Even if it's cloudy for a week, it'll maintain and charge enough um, to where it works. So this is the inside setup here. This is the actual solar part. So let's go to the outside, and I'll show you the transfer switch and how all that works. Okay, so let's start over here with this. Okay, this here is a 240 receptacle, um, identical to what a generator receptacle is. Okay, the same thing you would see on a generator. And it's connected to the power inverter. So we have 240 volts with a ground and a neutral coming into here. And this over here is a generator inlet. Okay, so the way this is set up is I do have a generator. Okay, it's in previous videos. You guys can see that. So if I wanted to, I could connect the generator through here. And then that goes up to the interlock kit, which again, I have videos on all this, guys. You can see it. Um, so as you see, the interlock kit, basically, you can't, this is the generator breaker here. It's also connected to the uh, solar inverter. So basically, if I were to flip this breaker, on over here I would have power coming into this panel here but that can't happen when you have the main breaker on um, and at the same time if the power is off from a storm then you'd be back feeding the line so you have to call the interlock kit and as you see here this won't lift up enough for me to turn this breaker on so what I would have to do which I'm not gonna is turn this off here you see this little slot and then this will come up far enough to turn this on but then this is off so the two can never be on at the same time um, so that is how I can connect my solar that way, and I won't break the cord out. Um, again, you guys have seen this on previous videos. I'll include a couple at the end, but you guys can just go through the channel and see. And now that I got all this settled here, you can see I left this cover out a couple times. It did get rained on when I was working on all this here. These are all actually um, labeled correctly pretty much at this point here, but I'm just going to put new labels on, clean everything up and all that here now that I'm pretty well done doing all this and everything so um so that is the first way okay if you look over here this part is not labeled correctly where was it um right over here the refrigerator was moved into the transfer panel and i used this space over here as the feeder to the transfer switch that you guys just saw over by the solar setup so like i said what this does is this sends current over to that during normal power okay so it comes from this panel here and the transfer switch will be on that side and then from there in this pipe that you see over here and this is all done to code if you look at the previous videos I buried this 18 inches and um, you know the wire that we're supposed to use that so you guys can see all that in the videos but then anyways um, now from the transfer switch it'll take the power that comes from here this 30 amp goes into the transfer switch this, uh, it's a contactor that's positioned that way so it relays power back through here into the transfer panel okay so what happens is this is during normal power so like when the power went out the other night what happened is when this went out uh, all the power went out, this panel went dead, and the transfer switch automatically swapped over to the solar, and it sent the correct voltage back into this panel here, which this is the panel, like I said, refrigerator, lights, um, TV, security system, everything's inside of that panel there, so it all just swapped right over. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot more on this here and kind of because you know what just happened these things really there's a lot of people that are suffering in Carolina right now and they don't need to be and I know that they thought you know this is never going to hit um, if you look at these hurricanes here we're fortunate because we built our house strategically I've lived here in Florida for over 40 years I've been through a lot a lot of hurricanes um, I've helped a lot of people over the years prep on hurricanes and teach them how to prep on hurricanes and 
so forth like that. That's why we have this channel. Um, but, you know, we're up quite, quite high. We're exactly 104 feet above sea level, so we will never deal with the surge. But if you look at what happened in Carolina, a lot of the coast, um, it's the water that did the damage. Okay, we took heavy, heavy winds here. Uh, you guys have seen my house. This is engineered and designed to withstand 140 mile an hour winds. We weren't worried about that. I built it myself, and by the time I was done, um, you know, this I would be comfortable in this thing up to 160, but we don't have to deal with the storm surge. So, but anyways, guys, I'm going to get into more of that. I just wanted to go through how my solar did, and it was great. You know, the next morning when I came out, the power was off for six hours. Um, I stayed up watching TV and, you know, the lights on and all that till about, you know, 2.30 in the morning when I finally turned that off. But the fridge, the security system, all that stayed on until the power came back on at exactly 4.14. I had to go through my uh, security cameras, the recordings of it, to watch the storm and see the power came back on. It was exactly 4.14. And the next morning I came out and my battery bank was still 92% charged. And uh, within an hour or so, it was right back up to 100. So, like I said, guys, I want to cover some more things getting into the future. But I wanted to throw this out on how the solar did and all that. So, all right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.